different breeds. From up cave diving to the Chinese, it's not too bad. Yeah, from uh, sort of a cave diving expedition 23 years ago to a, a movie here. It's quite a trip, a little <laughs> surreal actually. I would imagine so. And you know, when we see about this movie being inspired by a true story, this is your story. Screen, it's kind of amazing because uh, the, the, the real life adventure is very hard to convey to someone and also it happens in the dark underground. So what you know, what a movie allows you to do is uh, fictionalise that story and bring it to life on a bigger screen. So the people can have, have that experience of you know, watching this now. It's all the things you can't do when you're making a documentary. In this movie, to bring audiences into the world, you have 3D on your side, which is rare for movies like practical locations in tight circumstances like this. How does that uh, bring this movie to another level as far as an audience and entertainment? Well, it's a bad pun, but it immerses the audience. <laughs> and uh, 3, 3D enhances the experience. So what's really neat about this is you know, one of the things about cave diving, it's a real you know, theory, it's an experiential pursuit. It's hard to describe what's there, but if you can see it and feel it, you, you kind of get it. And this is what this movie really intends to do: is take someone for a couple of hours in a theatre and give them an experience. And you and uh, James Cameron have been working together for a good long time now, bringing those experiences to screens and audiences. How is this a different experience for you two to work together? Not documentary and then have fictional stuff. Well, we've been working together for a decade now, and all of those projects were but they were in 3D and we were doing it with IMAX and we were doing it out in the middle of the ocean and it was you know, really difficult, real life stuff. And Jim said to me one day, you know, these expeditions are much harder to make in a movie. And I had to take his word for it because I hadn't made one. He said, we should do something together. Let's do your cave diving story. Let's turn that into to a movie. And uh, it was just a natural profession and this has been a, a great opportunity to sort of blend you know, hardcore realism with fiction and create something which Watching the actors going through all this and you not getting a chance to dive under. And... <laughs> I, I felt a little mean, you know. They, these guys hadn't dived and done any of this stuff before, so yeah, they read the script, but I don't think they really fully knew what they were signing up for. I mean, I was wanting to get in there. In fact, I did. I, when we were doing the underwater stuff, I did a lot of diving and we filmed in real case, so at least I. I got to have some of my fun. Oh, <laughs> good. Well, tonight everyone looks quite a bit different, all cleaned up. It must be nice to see everyone light up in this thing. You're right, I'm amazed you. how good they look. I'm used to seeing them in rubber suits. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, take, take the wetsuit off and, and put a, a beautiful cocktail dress on it. So, hey, it looks good. <laughs> exactly. Well, go and enjoy the night. It's a pleasure. Thank to you. See you. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you.